Listen, listen. Finally bought me a table. <laughs> Finally bought me a table, coach. Living in an apartment, shit. I don't know. They got these thin ass walls. Buddy, buddy, be blasting music and stuff. But what, what can I do? You know what I'm saying? But it don't be like it. You know what I'm saying? Bad times. I guess you could say. I don't know. I mean, at this point, I'm just like. I mean, it's like I guess it don't bother me to a sense. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I guess I kind of just, like, accepted that. Because, uh, I mean, my nigga want to listen to music, you know what I'm saying? Shit, I'll be playing music, shit. And really, I'm using that, you know what I'm saying, to set me up for, you know what I'm saying, when, you know, I do get a speaker or some shit, then I'm like, nigga, you playing, you playing that bitch loud as fuck. I'm going to play my shit loud as fuck. <laughs> Nigga, nigga can't say nothing to me. I ain't saying nothing. You know what I'm saying? Nah, but I don't be tripping. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? I be going to sleep and nothing. he don't be playing no music. Oh, yeah, I say he. Shit, I don't. They don't be playing no music. So it's like, I don't be tripping. Just because you're by yourself doesn't mean you have to be lonely. Talk about the lonely shit. I guess it's back on random shit. <laughs> Just talk about shit, bro fuck you want me to talk about talk about the lonely shit i mean yeah i mean shit i guess you know what i'm saying me within this situation i mean you know what i'm saying being by myself and you know not feeling this sense of loneliness you know what i'm saying and it's like you know i guess cuz within you know what I'm saying? When I just made that decision of, you know, to just really evaluate, you know what I'm saying, the relationships I had in my life and to really, you know what I'm saying, take steps in order to try to, you know, you know, work on them and change them and grow them and, you know, communicated that and obviously within you know, the communication or the lack of communication, you know what I'm saying? Those certain, you know, relationships ended within what it was or, you know, just moved on in a sense. And it was just, you know what I'm saying? Obviously it took time because it was like, you know what I'm saying? It was just, at first it was just a couple and then it was like more and more, you know what I'm saying? Then it was like, okay, I'm really like, you know what I'm saying, by myself. And, you know what I'm saying, within that, I mean, you know, cause I was always, I mean, I never really had like, you know what I'm saying, like people in my life, you know what I'm saying? It was always just within the convenient shit. You know what I'm saying, within school, you know, you in a convenient place. So it was like, I am the way I am and we so-called, you know what I'm saying, got along in a sense of this is that but that was within school that was within that convenient space and it was like you know what i'm saying within you know the the people that you're you know that you don't choose and you're um born into in a sense or whatever that was another convenient situation because that's what you know what was and what was supposed to be or this is and that and it was like, yeah, when, you know, it grew into from school and, you know what I'm saying, you know, and it went into, you know, playing on, on the game. I mean, but I made that effort within a sense, but I mean, both made efforts within playing on the game, but that was just, uh, you know what I'm saying? I think that was the farthest extent to a sense of, you know, of like have like I mean because I'm basically saying like because you know there, there hasn't really been except for I guess except for like on the game as far as 
you just having to make the effort. You know what I'm saying? Oh, let's hop on the game. Oh, let's do this. Oh, let's do that. You know what I'm saying? That was the only time I feel like that wasn't really a convenient, you know, situation. It was more of, you know, I had to try and they had to try. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, you know what I'm saying? That was a cool time and that was, you know what I'm saying? That was dope and obviously, you know what I'm saying? Within, you know, my situation and within, you know, just whatever happened, you know, they just, it didn't last or whatever. And you know what I'm saying? That's what that is. And it's like, it's tough, you know what I'm saying? Cause you know, I didn't really never got a communication that's why or whatever like that. You know what I'm saying? Cause I tried to communicate and you know what I'm saying? Just really tried to understand, you know what I'm saying? Within a sense, but you know what I'm saying? I, I moved on and it was like, I mean, just as far as, I don't know, just as far as being by yourself, I mean, you know, it's different for everybody. But for me, I mean, since it's always kind of been like that, it's like, it's nothing really new in a sense. You know what I'm saying? It's always just been me. You know what I'm saying? Me figuring out me, you know what I'm saying? Entertaining myself, talking to myself, doing this, this and that with myself. So it's like, you know, when it was those convenient, you know, spots or situations, you know what I'm saying? I was still just doing, you know, the shit I do with myself. And then, oh, these people seem to be entertained. Oh, these people, you know what I'm saying, want to talk to me or this, this, and that. And I was like, cool. But then when it came to the, you know, out of the convenient situation and they had to make an effort to like, hey, you want to hang? Hey, you want to do this, this, and that? You know, there was none of that. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, you know... It was like in a sense like, you know what I'm saying? I would try, you know what I'm saying, to do this, this and that, you know what I'm saying? There was there were times where I was able to, you know what I'm saying, but it was me doing it, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't the other way around, you know, so I was like, Well, you know, if I don't feel like doing it or if I don't wanna do it, you know what I'm saying, and then they end up not doing it at all. So it's like, Well, I can just be with me, you know what I'm saying? Because 'Cause I've been with me this whole time regardless. So I mean and I, I I didn't I didn't I didn't really look and be like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Like look at, you know, films or series or some shit like that and be like, you know, jealous in a sense or feel bad in a sense that, you know what I'm saying, that I don't have that group, that I don't have, you know what I'm saying, those people people in my life or this, this and that, you know what I'm saying? And it's like I mean, I don't know. You know, it's like, you know what I'm saying? I guess it's just within my foundation that I created without even realizing that I created, you know what I'm saying? With just being so comfortable with being with me. I mean, I don't, I mean, obviously, you know, within evaluation, it's, you know, it's from, you know, dealing with what I had to deal with at such a less experienced time, you know what I'm saying? And only having me to go to, you know what I'm saying? And I I fell into myself, you know what I'm saying? I, 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 I chose to lean on myself instead of, you know, hate myself because they're saying I'm this, this, and that, because they're beating me down, you know what I'm saying? I decided to actually care for myself and support myself and love myself and that made me create a bond with myself and made me, you know, create this, you know, real strong relationship with myself and this healthy relationship with myself. And of course, you know, I've, you know, obviously struggled within, you know, you know, having the relationships I had and, you know, trying to, you know, do what I can in a sense. And, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, there was only, there was, there was really, you know what I'm saying, throughout like all of, you know, the relationships and school and all that, this, this, and that, you know what I'm saying? There was really only one relationship that I really, you know what I'm saying, like really evaluated in a sense. This shit just dropped, really evaluated in a sense, you know what I'm saying? And it allowed me to, 
You know, because like the other relationships, like I kind of, I kind of understood and told myself like that's just convenient shit. That's just whatever shit. But you know what I'm saying? This specific relationship, it was like, you know what I'm saying? After it was kind of, you know, ended in a sense of what that was, you know, I really felt, you know, I guess just hurt in a sense. And it was like, you know, I, I really took time to evaluate it and I took the opportunity and I, I saw that, okay, I need to do everything I can you know, within a relationship, you know what I'm saying? Because before I would just do whatever, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, even within that relationship, I didn't do everything I could, you know what I'm saying? And it was like, you know, within of what it was, I took it and I was like, okay, you know what I'm saying? I can do, you know, I need to be, I want to be doing everything I can within a relationship, you know what I'm saying? To a certain extent, I want to be, you know what I'm saying? Comfortable and open up within a sense i want to be able to you know just be me and do what i want to do you know what i'm saying and within you know what came from that relationship and what i felt or this this, and that i mean it just i don't know i i I allowed myself to see that you know and i was willing to really go there and evaluate that shit and really you know what i'm saying throughout you know what i'm saying the pain you know what I'm saying, that I went through during, you know, that part of the journey of dealing with that. And then after I was like, you know, I was able to really, you know, dig in and, and, and really figure out, you know what I'm saying, how I feel about this shit and how I can accept this shit. And, you know what I'm saying? And that's what I say, like, you gotta sit in this shit. You gotta go through the pain. You gotta feel this hurt. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, that, in a sense, is allowing you to heal. You know, and it's part of the healing process. But also within, you know what I'm saying, me leading into that, you know, it also, I also, you know, was like, okay, you know, I said that this is that. And then I was like, I decided to, you know what I'm saying, well, why not try to, you know what I'm saying, work on a relationship? Why not try to do this, this, and that, you know what I'm saying? So I reached out, I did this and that, and obviously, you know, it just, I say obviously, how the fuck, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, I fucking first time saying this up. But, I mean, it just, it. oh, I guess I can say obviously because I say I don't have no one. I mean, either way, listen. But it just, it just didn't work out, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, you know, that person can, you know what I'm saying, feel their way and I can feel my way. And it's just, it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? And you gotta be able to, you know, accept that and move on. And within me going through, you know what I'm saying, the process, you know, that I went through and the journey I went through, you know what I'm saying, for the first time and really, you know, evaluating a relationship like that and really, accepting it and really to relate that that relationship meaning so much to me in a sense you know what i'm saying and i was like you know what i'm saying so i was able to process and really deal with you know what i'm saying having to accept them not wanting to work on the relationship having to accept that i gotta move on you know what i'm saying that within a sense was easier to do, you know what I'm saying? Because I knew how to do it because I had the foundation now and you know what I'm saying? But it's like, you know, that feeling of loneliness and you not want to be by yourself. It's just, you know, you not loving yourself. It's just you, you know, not not depending on yourself and leaning on yourself and you not having to, you know, fall into yourself in a sense. You know what I'm saying? You always having all these people around and this and that. So, you know, you don't really feel like you need you in a sense. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, I can understand to a certain extent, you know what I'm saying? Because you felt like you didn't really have to go there. You know what I'm saying? And you always had somebody or, you know what I'm saying? The relationship may have been what it was and, you know, you felt it was okay or, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, but... I don't know, you gotta fall into you.
and it won't be a big mystery to see if they care for you too because they'll be feeling the similar they'll be feeling the similar similar to what you're feeling they'll think about they'll think about you all day wanting to talk to you do things with you be with you yeah like it don't be this mystery shit it don't be you know you need hints and this game shit like you know that you know they on your fucking mind you know you thinking about them you know you thinking of shit you know to do with them or to make them laugh or this this and that like and they should be thinking of similar shit like it's not just complicated things like stop wanting to show them how much you miss them or how much they hurt you because it's tearing you apart trying to prove something to them that's big let me read that shit again like stop stop wanting to show them how much you miss them or how much they hurt you because it's tearing you apart trying to prove prove something to them that's huge you know what i'm saying because that's a lot of fucking people you know what i'm saying that's a lot of people who do that shit who fucking you know You know what I'm saying? The reason they get in, you know, in certain situations is because they're trying to show them that they miss them. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? They're trying to show them how much they hurt them. And they send these texts and they, you know, you know, attempt these phone calls and they do this, this and that. And you know what I'm saying? They show these sides of themselves that, you know, that person doesn't doesn't deserve. You know what I'm saying? And you shouldn't be giving those parts. You know, you shouldn't be showing those parts and giving those parts within a sense to them. Like, because that's hurting your body. You know what I'm saying? I just... And you're only doing that for them. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're done doing for them. Like, you didn't see what doing for them got you. So, you no longer need to do for them. You need to do for you. And what you need to do for you is fucking heal. You know what I'm saying? You don't need to tear yourself apart. You know what I'm saying? You trying to put yourself back together. In a sense. You know what I'm saying? So it's like... That shit is just... You got to get off that shit. And you got to realize that... You know what I'm saying? Regardless, if you show them this, this, and that. And if they see it, you know what I'm saying? That shouldn't be the, oh, now they'll come back. Oh, now, you know what I'm saying? Like, fuck that. They know what they did and they know they hurt you. They know you fucking care and support and they know you miss, you know what I'm saying? They know this shit. And if they don't, then that's more of reason to, you know what I'm saying? Like, this shit is there. Y'all just, you know, want to manipulate it. Some of y'all just want to, don't want to see it. Like, you got to be able to see what is and realize what is. Pay attention, bro. You're going to let people in your life. Going to be in others' life. Fucking care. Because otherwise, what's the point? What's the point? You know what I'm saying? Like, like y'all should take the shit seriously to a certain extent. Like, I don't... I don't know. Like, that shit just, like... It throws me, like... You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean... You know... I mean, like, I don't even know. Like, I don't know the mindset of the... Just having people in your life just to have them in your life. Like, why? If you're not going to care for them, if you're not going to support, if you're not going to pay attention to shit, if you're not going to, you know, check up, if you're not going to want to do things with them, if you then why have them in your fucking life? It's like we already dealing with so much shit. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? I don't really understand the point in it. You know what I'm saying? And it's like... I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Why increase the possibility of you getting hurt? Of you, you know, exerting yourself to a certain extent? Of, you know what I'm saying? You know, just giving parts of yourself that you don't feel like you want to... You know what I'm saying? Why increase those possibilities and those chances of causing pain onto yourself? You know what I'm saying? Not being able to grow as you want, you know what I'm saying? Not being able to do the things you want to do. Like, I don't, like, why would I increase those chances of that? Like, that shit is just like, like, 
like I said, like I wasn't going, you know what I'm saying, have those people in my life and, you know what I'm saying, continue this pretending shit and acting like everything is cool and not addressing shit. Like, I don't understand that shit, bro. I don't understand why people don't address shit. Like, bro, there is a fucking problem. We can't just continue to just, you know, go past the shit, like not talk about shit. Like, that shit just happened. Like, we have to talk about that shit. We can't, you know what I'm saying, go a couple of days and then just act like shit is cool. You know what I'm saying? Because then something else going to happen. Then, you know what I'm saying? Then we're just going to keep. And then, like, it's just like, you know what I'm saying? I don't get no communication on You don't get no communication on Maybe you're not thinking about it. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, I don't want to fucking, you know what I'm saying, be in a relationship where we're not addressing it, where we're not communicating about shit. You know what I'm saying? Where... I'm not able to communicate about shit. When I communicate, it's this, 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 and that. Like, no, bro. Like, let's communicate. You know what I'm saying? This shit happened. Okay, let's communicate. You know what I'm saying? You feel in a certain way. Okay, but, you know what I'm saying? It was this, 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 and that. But you weren't, you know what I'm saying? Like, push in the perspective and, like, you know what I'm saying? Really understand shit to a certain extent. Like, I don't know. Just, like, the... You got to be able to, you know what I'm saying talk about the past and we can't just act like oh it's in the past that's it you know what i'm saying like no the past is what i am now you know what i'm saying like i'm only able to you know what i'm saying talk about this shit because of you know what i'm saying past shit that i didn't gain the knowledge and this this and that you know what i'm saying however the conscious work and however words is coming in my mind whatever you know what i'm saying like me thinking about it and me it coming out before it comes out i think about it so that is considered the past and what the past is so you know what i'm saying yes there's certain elements of the past where it's like okay we you know move on accept this and that but the only way to move on and accept is understanding the shit communicating the shit evaluating the shit like we got to get there and we got to go there you know what i'm saying people not willing to go there people not willing to address it people not willing to communicate and they not willing to you know what i'm saying take those steps and want to and you know what i'm saying understand that that is what a healthy relationship is and that's what you know what i'm saying communication is and that's what being in a relationship is then you know what i'm saying where are we at you know what i'm saying you go do you i'm gonna go do me but you know what i'm saying within me going to do me you can no longer be in my life you know what i'm saying because why why am i putting myself through that you know what i'm saying you, you putting yourself through that shit that constant of you know what I'm saying? That shit happening and you not being able to communicate that shit. And when you do communicate that shit, they just like, what? Or, you know, it's no response or it's a little response or it's them being like, oh, you crazy or this, this and that. Like, what are you talking about? And it's like, you know what I'm saying? You know what the fuck just happened. And if you don't, I'm fucking telling you. You're like, I don't, you gotta go there. Like you have your own room, can decorate it how you want want it how you want y'all can still go in their room in the morning or, or whenever but having your own space time to yourself is also important in romantic relationships already live together so i gotta be together all the time and don't always want to go out the comfort of your home just to get space should i stop stop i ain't know where the fuck i was going with that yeah now, obviously, within, you know what I'm saying, money, shit, and within, you know, this world and what we living in, I mean, I don't know, but I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think, you know what I'm saying, I don't think you should, like, y'all should have separate rooms, you know what I'm saying, like, you should be able to go and just be with your, you know what I'm saying, that's what I'm talking about, kind of, the, just you always with somebody, you always have people, and it's like, you know what I'm saying? We all want and need time to ourselves. All of us. Regardless if you got healthy relationships, regardless, it doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? We all need time to ourselves because within a relationship with ourselves, we, you know what I'm saying? We got to work on us. We got to, you know, keep this healthy relationship going within us. The same way we got to do with, you know what I'm saying, y'all. And within having that separate time is within, you know, healthiness in a sense. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, you're not taking time to yourself. You know what I'm saying? You can't grow within yourself. You know what I'm saying? So how can you grow within a relationship? How, you know, it's like you have nothing to bring 
because you know what I'm saying if you just within that relationship all the time and it's like you know you didn't you didn't spend all your fucking skill points you know what I'm saying now you gotta go get some more skill points and if you don't leave to go get some more then it's like you can't upgrade nothing you know what I'm saying and it's like sure within the relationship yeah you get skill point relationship wise but it's like what about you? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, relationship, cool, me and you, yes. But I need me. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I feel like you should be able to go to a different room. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you don't want to go out of the comfort of your home to go get space. Like, why should I go out the comfort of my home to go get space away from, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can, I should be able to go in my room. I should be able to go, or just a room, or I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Because, like I say, money-wise and shit like that, I mean, but... You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you don't, you know, I don't know. You know, it obviously it depends how many people where you at and this is that, but you know, I mean, you want it to be a place you can relax in a sense, you know. You, I mean, you should be sleeping somewhere where you know what I'm saying, you can just fucking spread your legs for once and just, you know what I'm saying, roll around, you know what I'm saying, just do whatever. You know, and fucking you know, watch whatever you want by yourself and like I don't know, but you know, some so called, you know, they wanna get out of that and wanna be watching stuff with other people and this is that and it's like, yeah, of course, you know what I'm saying? You've been doing that by yourself for this long and yeah, you wanna have this, but we still gotta understand that, you know what I'm saying, we still need this, you know what I'm saying, doing it by ourselves and this, this and that. I don't know. I mean, yeah, and being able to decorate it how you want, you know what I'm saying? Because y'all going to have different tastes and being able to keep it as clean as you want, you know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, you know, you may be more of a tidier person in a way and theirs may not be dirty, but, you know, it may be, you know, just leaving shit around kind of or something like that. Like, you know, y'all different people, different personalities. Like, yeah, y'all, you know, come together on so many things and it works, you know what I'm saying? But it's just some shit you can, you know, have to yourself. I don't know. But obviously within that, that's a lot of, you know, thinking about and shit like that. I understand some feel guilty about moving on. Some love to sit in the pain. Then they're kind of still there. Everything is fresh. You move on, you feel you lose it all. Feel you don't really care. That's true to you and valid. But how long? How long do you sit in it until you find yourself three years later stuck in the same place, not knowing who you are, what you want? Everything you are, you've now made it made it into who everything you are, you've now made into who you were with them. And if that's gone, you're gone. So you choose. Understand they're gone. Move on to the next phase of healing or die. But by you sitting in it, you're already on that path. Write that shit down. Dissect that shit. That's a great fucking note. Let me talk to you. That's big. That's huge. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. That shit is, <laughs> that shit is great. You know what I'm saying? That's true to people. Like they, they like to sit in it because you know, it's fresh and it's like, they feel like, you know what I'm saying? They still connected. And like I said, you know, you don't want to move on because now you seem like you don't care. But you know what I'm saying? Within that certain time, yes sit in that shit, you know what I'm saying? Go through that pain or this, this, and that, but it's like, you know, you can't, you know what I'm saying? Just as far as yourself, you know what I'm saying? You can't do that to yourself, you know what I'm saying? And just as far as them and you using them to a sense, they wouldn't want you to do that to yourself either. You know what I'm saying? Now, should you be using them as your choice maker? No, because I feel, you know what I'm saying, you should get the power to yourself and you should be making that decision. You should be choosing, you know what I'm saying, based off what you want to choose it based off. But, you know what I'm saying, you don't want to disappoint yourself in that way. You don't want to disrespect yourself in that way. You don't want to, you know, 
just lose sight of everything because of someone you lost. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I don't know. Like, yeah, it's tough. But, you know what I'm saying? It's like, what can you do? You know what I'm saying? And you being in that state for, you know what I'm saying? For too long in a sense, it's like, I mean, what has that done for you? You know what I'm saying? What has that done for them? You know what I'm saying? It's like, you, I mean, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? It's almost as if you didn't expect it to happen. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, like I say, like it's, you know, how we're living, we're acting like, you know, when the sun comes up tomorrow, we'll be here. You know what I'm saying? It's like, that's not a guarantee. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I just, I, I don't, I mean, just try your best to not lose sight. You know what I'm saying? Of yourself and of, you know, and of wanting to love yourself and of wanting to feel this sense of peace and, you know, just, I don't know. You know, I just feel you can't, you know, and you don't want to just. Hmm. Hmm. Be in such a low place. You know, you gotta, you gotta be able to move on. You gotta accept that shit. Stop talking at people. That's huge. Some niggas just don't know how to have a fucking conversation. And I don't, you know, I don't understand it. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, as far as the dynamic of a parent, you know, kid thing, child thing, whatever, you know, or just, you know, the authoritative you know, against, you know, whoever they're authoritating or the adult versus, you know, the child or whatever. I mean, it's, they feel they must talk at them for some reason because they feel they know more. They feel they're, you know, have earned this sort of, you know, respect and this, for, this sort of stature in a sense and they're above you and, but, you know, I'm human, they're human, you know what I'm saying, and it's like, even that adult kid thing, I mean, what, 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 what is a kid, you know what I'm saying, within what a kid is, we're all kids, because within, oh, you saying, oh, that's your kid, within saying that that is your parent, and you are their kid, so therefore, if you're here on this planet, you have a parent. So therefore, you are a kid, regardless of your age, of this, this, regardless. You're a kid, bro. We're all a child of somebody within what this world is and the labels we created and the system type thing we've created. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, that label is fucked. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, we all fucking... You know what I'm saying? Children too, within a sense, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like children is could be used more as a, you know, oh, you're a child, oh, you're an adult. Like that can be used more as, but still within certain situations. I mean, but, you know, you gotta, when you're talking to somebody, you gotta understand that that too is with. You know what I'm saying? Because within talking to somebody, you should be having a conversation. So you're talking with somebody and you're having a conversation. You know what I'm saying? It's a back and forth thing. You know what I'm saying? That, you know, that's why so many, 
parent-child relationships fail because the parent feels they have to talk at you and feel they can talk at you. Why? You know what I'm saying? Like, you should be able to say what you're saying. I should be able to say what the fuck I'm saying. And then, you know what I'm saying? We'll evaluate and we'll go from there. Not I'm the parent. What I say goes. You listen to me. Shut the fuck up. I tell you what is. I don't know about that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know about that. You know, I don't I, I don't agree with that at all. You know what I'm saying? Because it it, it, it it takes away from the human-human interaction. It takes away from the conversation. You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, I'm this peasant and you're this king and queen. and You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck all that. You know? And that's the shit I'm talking about. Like, it's still the same foundational shit from back then and now. Like, it's just in different structures and different situations. Like, that's what the king and queen was type shit. Fucking off with their head, Alice in Wonderland. Like, I mean, I don't. It's it's the same shit, and we gotta we gotta stop that shit. We gotta call that shit out. We gotta talk about that shit. We gotta see that that shit not right. You know what I'm saying? You shouldn't be talking at someone. You know what I'm saying? You shouldn't be having a cover. I mean, you should be having a conversation with people. You should want to have a conversation with people. You know what I'm saying? Regardless if you feel you have the knowledge or this and that, you know what I'm saying? They could have questions. They could, you know what I'm saying, bring up something and make you think differently. You know what I'm saying? And you can learn something even on shit you already know. Like, and just because they're a so-called child doesn't mean they don't know about this, this, and that. Don't mean they can't have ideas about it or, you know what I'm saying? They seen it within their perspective and they may, you know have thoughts about it and their thoughts could could be valid to a certain situation or this this and that like you're not in control of that shit people are ignorant that means they don't know something so y'all trying to use ignorant as an insult is a is odd break it down you like you like you don't know about this like okay either educate or move on like, what the fuck? I don't understand that shit. You know what I'm saying? And like I say, when you break shit down and actually use the word for what it is in specific terms, like, you don't know, um, you don't know what the color white looks like. Okay? You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't be like, oh, you ignorant. Like, you can't, you can't use that as a, I don't know, like, Motherfuckers say, oh, I don't know. Just like, just me saying that shit it just throws me how people can go and be like, oh, you an ignorant motherfucker. And they clearly just said, I don't know what the color white looks like. Like they telling you they don't know. And then you saying, oh, you an ignorant motherfucker. And then it's like, what does that do? Like, I don't give a fuck that you think that they should know what the color white looks like because that's what your shit is coming from and you feel like they should know. How do you not know? You're this, this, and that. And then all your, this, all your bullshit, you know what I'm saying? And then you go and be like, oh, you, you dumb as fuck. You an, you an ignorant motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? And then that's where that comes from because of your own shit and where you think they should be and what you think they should know. Because you think they didn't went through the same shit you didn't went through. You think they didn't saw the same shit you saw. You think they didn't been exposed to the same shit. You think they didn't acknowledge the same shit. You think they got the same not. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like that shit just that shit don't add up. You know, and it's like I mean I don't know. It's like and once you. You know what I'm saying? Once you get that out the way and once you understand that, okay, you know, they are clearly stating that they don't know what the color white looks like. You know what I'm saying? Should I educate them? Should I, you know, should I just move, keep it moving? Should I, you know what I'm saying? And then regardless of what it is, regardless of who they are, regardless of who what you think they know you know what i'm saying they're telling you what they know and don't know then that's it 
you know what I'm saying? And going to that, just not trusting people. And then some people not being truthful to themselves and this, is and that. But like I said, we got to go into the trusting people. We got to go into the, you know what I'm saying? Being truthful to us. We got to go there and be so we can, you know, be like, okay, they say they don't know what the color white look like, regardless of what you thought they were exposed to and what they know. You fucking show them or you keep it pushing. You know what I'm saying? And that could go in so many instances and that could prevent so much negative shit. You know what I'm saying? If we just, you know, um, if we just went there and was like, okay, let me help them. You know what I'm saying? Let me, let me try my best to do this. Let me try to show, you know what I'm saying? Instead of just the, you're ignorant. And now what? You know what I'm saying? Now they don't, now they will continue not to know. And now the next person won't help either. And now, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, and now they feel, you know, they feel a certain way about, you know what I'm saying? About not knowing that certain thing. And, you know what I'm saying? They may feel down to a certain extent. And they may feel less comfortable with, you know, speaking about it or just talking in general because, you know what I'm saying, what well, is this another thing? So now they don't ask questions and now they not learning and growing. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're fucking each other up. We're stunting each other growth. We're not, you know what I'm saying? That's just by not being kind, just by, you know, not helping each other out. Like, there's so many levels and so many shit. Ugh, I just, I don't know. You go into things and you should want nothing. Just want to support. Now, if they say they appreciate the support, y'all communicate, come to an understanding about what y'all are, grow close, somewhere in between there, they have to be giving. Okay. You go into things and you should want nothing. Just want the support. Now, if they say they appreciate the support, y'all communicate, come to an understanding about what y'all are, grow close, somewhere in between there, they have to be giving something because you're worth too much. So saying, going in, go, going in wanting nothing doesn't mean, oh, I want nothing. Do whatever I'll be, do whatever I'll be there. No. Because if they mistreat you, you shouldn't stay. No, because if after a while y'all become friends or something, they should show you support. Show they support you. And for the interaction that y'all are, just a one-time thing, those are fine. Oh, and for the act and for the interactions that are just a one-time thing, those are fine. Because you went into that interaction want nothing back so it's okay y'all don't talk again we aren't supposed to hold on to everybody we meet we're allowed to have those interactions with people enjoy those interactions be able to say be able to say bye see i feel that's why some don't have interactions because they'll want something and want to be and want to become friends or something got a lot of got a lot of saliva in my mouth right now i don't know what the fuck i guess cause i'm looking down my shit drooling i don't know but god damn i was trying to catch my shit <laughs> then i couldn't read this shit but yeah like you know what i'm saying y'all are going in wanting something you know what i'm saying and, you know it's so odd for the people who you know just i don't know how y'all just you know, look at somebody or, you know what I'm saying, haven't even, you know, talked to them or haven't even, you know, got to know them to a certain extent and want to be in an intimate relationship with somebody. You know what I'm saying? Like, because you solely off of looks, solely off of what you think would be this, this, and that. And it's like, I don't know how y'all able to do that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how y'all don't want to be friends in a sense first you know what i'm saying don't want to get close in a sense and just be whatever you know what i'm saying and just get to know them rather than you know or just yeah just first get to know them and then 
oh okay we want to be friends oh i want to be close oh okay you know we may go into the into relationship but just that's just label shit you know what i'm saying just as far as getting to know them and just doing whatever y'all do you know what i'm saying becoming whatever y'all become but it's like you shouldn't you know see somebody and go up to somebody and then you already like oh you know what i'm saying i want us to be friends i want us to be this and that and it's like you know what i'm saying you you should just go into an interaction and it just be on some genuine shit you know what i'm saying you want to talk to them talk to them you want to get to know them try to get to know them. you want to come compliment them on something do that you got a thought you know express that thought whatever it is but just going that into that interaction on that and you wanting to say that and then that's it you know what i'm saying like whether you know what i'm saying there is this sort of you know return of a sense and whether they you know communicate back in a way whether they do this in a way whether this is not you know what i'm saying that doesn't affect your you know experience within a piece wise because you went into it not wanting anything you know what i'm saying and that's what the thing is is you're not going into it wanting this 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 and that you know what i'm saying and that gives you the peace of mind that that's gives you and be able to have those interactions and be able to say bye not being able to you know, just, you know, get their number, get their Snapchat, get their Instagram, whatever, social media shit. And, you know what I'm saying, not really speaking to them. And now it's just like a a person you have in your life. And now it's like, oh, you want to speak, but then y'all haven't spoken. And it's like, you know, you're causing problems for yourself. You're, you're adding things you have to deal with. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, when you don't have to, when really, you know what I'm saying, you didn't really want to fuck with them. You just... You know what I'm saying? Thought they were cute, so you did this, this, and that. But really, you didn't really like the interaction y'all had. But since they were cute, you still... It's like, it's shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I think I'm gonna go back on the floor. This shit. Oh, I don't know. Oh... Uh. So much shit, bro. Like, it's so much shit, bro. To just fucking deal with. Like, I can't believe this shit. Like, I can't believe... Like... This is this world. Like, this is what we're living in. Like, I, I cannot believe that shit. Like, we we literally, like, understand what the fuck I'm telling you. We literally, 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 yeah. We literally get to, like, okay, let me, let me break this shit down for you. Everything... I shouldn't say everything within obviously the understanding of the situation and within the human shit of what you can understand this shit within the natural world of nature and shit like that of course you know what I'm saying we didn't make as far as we know but within all the human made up shit it's all made the fuck up it's all by humans. We made this shit up. Like, I don't think people really see that shit. We literally made this shit up. All of this shit. Literally, like, what I'm in right now, this table, this phone, all this shit is made up by us. All of it. Like, that shit is on some crazy shit. So to think, coming from the outside in, like wherever you at, you know what I'm saying? You not from here. And you like, y'all have the power to create y'all reality, 
to create the shit that y'all use on a day-to-day -day basis, to create a system, to create, you know what I'm saying, how y'all live, you know what I'm saying? And y'all decided to build a fucking jail, create money, a currency where people have to buy food and shit like that, your needs, and you know what I'm saying, has to slave in order to get that currency. So it's hard to get the currency. So it's hard to get, you know, the shit you need, food and shit like that to survive. And, you know what I'm saying, y'all created this fucking law system that's fucked and the, the justice system that's fucked. And, like, just all this shit. And I just don't understand why we didn't create, you know what I'm saying, like, just, like, the shit I be talking about and, like, why we didn't create a, 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 a world where we're free where we're we're allowed to do whatever in a certain extent where we're communicating within a sense and understanding like hey let's not hurt let's hey let's not fucking do this this and that you know what i'm saying like i don't know like this shit just throws me for a fucking loop because you know when you thinking about shit in your head and you imagine like how you want shit like we can literally do that but we don't you know what i'm saying like i don't i don't I don't know. I don't know. That shit. It's been fucking with me a lot lately. Because it's like. It's fucked up that I'm having to live. Other people lives. Like I didn't create this bullshit. So I shouldn't have to be living in this bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like I should be able to create. You know what I'm saying? My own reality. I should be able to create. What the fuck I want to create. You know what I'm saying? And just do whatever. But I can't. And that shit is just... I don't know. I just don't know how that... Like, like sure, yeah. It could fuck with some of y'all. But as far as like just action-wise. As far as actually doing something. Like, I don't know how that don't get y'all there. Like, this shit is ridiculous. Like, fucking ridiculous, bro. It's like, we can create whatever the fuck we wanted. Whatever the fuck we want. Whatever the fuck we wanted to. And we decided to create this shit. Like, who in the fuck would create some shit like this? Like, it's just the way they, you know, create animes, create... Fucking video games, create film, a series, like books, all this shit. Like, they make up these worlds and this, this, and that. Like, that's what we have the ability to do within our life. And we decided to, to live in hell? I don't get it. Why would we create a jail for ourselves? And why would we allow them... You know what I'm saying? To create a jail for ourselves. You know what I'm saying? If they want to be greedy and selfish and do these things and create a system where only they win, that's cool. They can go live that fucking life. But why do we decide to live that life also? Why? Like, and, and, and you know, we see that we can stand up in a certain sense. You know what I'm saying? Because we've shown time and time again, you know, during certain protests, and this is not how we can come together, but we shouldn't be protesting against them. You know what I'm saying? We should be coming together and starting to work on our own shit, build our own shit. You know what I'm saying? Create our own, you know, system within a sense. And, you know what I'm saying? Communicate our fucking, you know, what we want and don't want and this, this and that. Like, that's the type of shit we need to be on. We need to be fucking fighting for us and starting to do for us and creating our own shit for us. We don't need to be pleading and begging to them. They don't give a fuck. And that's within, bro, I'm telling you, everything is foundational. Like, this shit falls into place with almost everything. That's within the same relationship shit. Where people are still going and begging them to care for them and support them. And do this and that for them. They don't fucking give a fuck about you. Go do for you. Move on. And what do you do when you move on? You feel better. You're at peace. You're fucking growing. You're working. You're evaluating, working, changing. You're fucking growing, bro. 
And people can tell you this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, people have been there and they decided to choose them and they fucking catapulted within themselves and feeling at peace. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's the same shit. We just decide to, you know, give others the power and fucking beg and do this, 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 and that for everybody else. And it's like, we just leave us with nothing and we're not able to do anything. And we're just fucking stuck. And you feel stuck. You know what I'm saying? You feel you can't go anywhere. You feel, well, this is it. You know what I'm saying? I'll just, we'll just wait until they change. We'll just wait until somebody comes and fucking just changes the world. Like, what the fuck are you? You think somebody coming and changing the world? Who? It's us. God damn, like, uh, fuck. Like, we are the ones who got to change the world. Like, and, and we fucking, you know, we... Uh, oh, like, God damn, like, shit. We just, you know, we begging everybody else, like... I don't know, like that shit is just like it fucking like just fucking throws me. Like we better than that and we can do it. Like, oh my gosh, bro. Like we can do this shit. I know it. I I literally I know it. Like that's the crazy shit about it. Like I know it. Cause I know, cause I know we got the potential to like that. Shit don't make sense. Like imagine being able to pick your superpower and you pick the shittiest superpower ever, ever. Like that's literally what we doing. They tell you to pick a superpower and you pick, fucking, I don't know. Being able to create pepper towels. Like, <laughs> the fuck are you doing? Out of all the shit in the world you could pick, you said create pepper towels. I'm on your ass. Like, come on, B. You bugging, huh? <laughs> you bugging. Like, come on. That shit is tough. <laughs> Nigga, head fuck up. Damn, my neck long as hell. <laughs> that shit crazy. That shit cold, though. No cow. No cow. No cow. No cow. <laughs> Bro. Listen. 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 <laughs> oh, my gosh, bro. This shit been wild. And it's like, it's so many people thinking like this, bro. It's not like I'm on like some, I, I already said it. It's not like I'm on some, you know. Listen, you like, you leave the camera's facing this way on this side, and but I got my shit charged, really. That's why I keep looking over here, but it's like my shit is over here, but then I don't know, is it top or bottom? Is it top or bottom? I don't know. Bro, Instagram won't let me fucking post these hoes. I don't know. I guess it's, you know, too long. Storage. You know what I'm saying? Shit, maybe this shit too explicit. I don't know. I mean, but usually that's like once you upload it, they take it down or some shit. I don't know. I don't know, coach. Some are nonverbal and choose to communicate in other ways. It's harder for them. Once again, brains brains work differently. Can't just force them to speak or point them out because all the other people you know or ever heard of is verbal. Have to still understand everything is possible and people will be different. That's big, that's huge. 
this girl, you fucking know. Let me talk to you. Like, you gotta understand that. And that's great. You know what I'm saying? Have to still understand anything is possible and people will be different. Once again, brains work work differently. They like like I said, you gotta be able to step outside of yourself of you think they should know. You think they should be that way. You think because of what you've seen, what this, this, and that. You know what I'm saying? Like You know, you, you don't know, you know what I'm saying? And you know, just like there's so much shit you don't know outside of what you've seen and the, what you consumed, you know what I'm saying? Within what senses you have and within, you know what I'm saying, just what you stored in your brain and what you have, you know what I'm saying? Like there's so much shit that you don't know and haven't consumed and aren't aware of that is fucking insane. So like I don't I don't I don't see how it's not like a cool thing and I'm not saying like oh you know what I'm saying oh they're nonverbal oh you know what I'm saying like like that's a cool you know like oh I'm looking at them at a fucking zoo you know what I'm saying and zoos are so fucked up but you know what I'm saying I'm saying it like as you know all of us are each different and it's all cool in a way to see those different things you know what I'm saying like that's how I look at the shit. I think it's cool and I think it's interesting because I love to learn new fucking shit. You know what I'm saying? The amount of questions I ask a day, you know what I'm saying? Within myself, within just, you know what I'm saying? Searching shit up, you know what I'm saying? Well, nah, no. Well, I mean, that's not true. I mean, within, <laughs> within some shit that I'm doing that I don't know, yeah, I search shit up. But it's not like I'm just searching fucking questions up. I guess I wanted to say, I don't know. That shit is not true though. That shit is not true at all. Cause I don't, I don't fucking search questions up. I don't. What the fuck am I gonna do with them all? I don't know what I wanted to say. Cause I wanted to say something, but I inserted that in to replace the thing that I wanted to say. That shit is crazy how we can do that, and that can be our habit to do that shit. I don't know what I wanted to say. That shit is crazy how we can do that shit, though. Like, how we can just, like, quickly, you know what I'm saying? Within me not expressing this, obviously, I mean, who would have fucking knew? How we can just fucking just lie. <laughs> I don't know what I wanted to say, but no, I, I don't, I don't fucking, I don't, I don't search questions up. I mean, that shit, I don't know. I just, what the fuck would I do with the most? Like, now that I'm thinking about that shit, like, I don't know. What would I do with them hoes? Yeah, but like, just ask myself questions and trying to like, you know, evaluate that shit, you know what I'm saying? Or when it's just interaction with people, you know, asking them questions, you know what I'm saying? As far as themselves, as far as, you know what I'm saying? You know, usually it's like, obviously me within a job or some shit so you know asking questions within a job or some shit like that you know what i'm saying because it's not like i'm just out with certain people or this this and that but i mean i don't know what the fuck i was talking about but i mean yeah like everybody's everybody's different bro oh yeah i love to learn you know what i'm saying and it's like you know we should you know, have that care for each other. And we should, you know what I'm saying, be interested in, you know, learning new things and seeing, you know, different humans and this, this and that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I don't, you know, I don't, I don't know why, you know, certain humans are separated in a sense. You know, I don't, I don't know why certain humans are listed different and, you know, within of, you know, how many senses there has and what their, you know, abilities or, you know, certain body parts or, you know, how they communicate or it's just like, you know, some people are non-verbal and that's, 
Like, it's not this rare thing. Like, it's not this, you know what I'm saying? Like, it isn't this rare fucking thing. Like, I don't care about statistics or none of that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? There's only one of each of us. Literally, there's only one of each of us. So it isn't one against seven billion or some shit like that. It's a one in one. So, you know what I'm saying? We're not, you know, you know, they wouldn't be rare because it's not going up against anything. You know what I'm saying? That's that's the only thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, and other nonverbal people, you can't put them together. You know what I'm saying? Because that nonverbal person is different than this nonverbal person. You know what I'm saying? Just like that person who communicates verbally is different than this person who communicates verbally. Like, you can't just... Oh, they communicate verbally. They're all over there. Oh, they're not verbal. They're all over there. They're all the same. They all do this, this, and that. Like, no. It's not how shit works. Understand, though, that some may try to push you away because they're actually scared to love. So they may truly care for you, but are just scared to give themselves up. That's when you should have already done that work on yourself and should be able to see this and be there for them. That's big. You know, a lot of people, you know, have trauma and have been hurt and have been told that, you know, a person cares and supports for them and, you know, they treat them like shit and they leave them or this and that. So they are scared and, you know what I'm saying, sometimes, you know, their defensive mechanism is, you know, to, you know, push you away, is to be rude in a sense, is to, you know, act like they don't care, this and that. And yeah within themselves or whatever, hopefully uh, they should, you know, by every word change, grow, and they shouldn't be doing that. They should be being able to open up, but, you know, within that, it takes time, and, you know, within you, you know, hopefully you're able to maybe see that and really communicate and, you know, ask that and see if they open up about it, you know, but within, you know, within a relationship or whatever, you know, in order for it to grow or whatever, they have to open up about it. They have to say, yeah, that is what it is, you know, and they have to be willing to, you know, try to work on it, you know what I'm saying, with you and grow within a sense and this, this, and that, you know what I'm saying, but if they not doing for them, then, you know what I'm saying, there's nothing you can do and you have to move on. Drunk to love, blind to all loves. Life is full of encounters and farewells. Where the fuck I got that from? <laughs> Yep. Drunk to love, blind to all else. Life is full of encounters and farewells. I don't know, man. And it be there to let you see it, you acknowledge it, you're aware of it, but still. Still you choose them, still you, still you want to be with them, still you. I don't know. You know, it's like, imagine, you know, if you actually felt that way about yourself, you know what I'm saying? Well, no, nah, not really. Yeah, because really you shouldn't be feeling that way. Really, you shouldn't be blind to all else, so. And as far as, you know, the encounters and farewells, people don't understand that either, like. You know, it's not supposed to be this for everything. It's not supposed to be this, you know, every person you fucking interact with to have some genuine moment, you know, y'all are supposed to be this for everything. Like, life is full of encounters and farewells. Everyone has a story, and they all have up and downs in them. That's big. 
everyone, bro, everyone, 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 regardless, regardless of who, every, everybody. But people don't believe it. You will say horrible things to each other, but the people who are willing to actually say, actually say sorry and own up to it are worth it. It's never, it's never easy, no matter who you're with. But if they truly care, they'll come around. People do change, but it doesn't just happen. It takes time, and something may happen. But most importantly, they themselves have to be willing to change. Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know. Hmm. Well. With them. You know. You know, but then those people who have, you know, those, you know, verbal, you know, arguments in a sense and say these horrible things, I mean, you know, obviously you evaluate it. You work to, you know, not have those things on your mind and not be in that place and you, you know, say sorry, own up to it because obviously you should. You know what I'm saying? That shouldn't be on your mind. You shouldn't be thinking about that type of stuff. You shouldn't have, you know, that build up in you that now that you're angry in a sense and now, you know, you allow it to come out and you say these horrible things like, you know what I'm saying? And within that is really, you know, evaluate, should be evaluated and we should really see, you know what I'm saying? Is this relationship for me, for us? You know what I'm saying? Because I don't like that you know, that, oh, you know, everybody says these horrible things to each other in, you know, arguments or this and that. And it's like, that's not, that's not true to a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? Not every marriage is, you know, full of arguments and all this, you know, chaotic anger, aggression shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not true to a lot of people. Like, it's not a good narrative and it's not a good, you know, thing to associate it with. Um, like, it's like, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? And what else did I fucking say? Yeah, and it's like, you know, once y'all sit down and talk about it, you know what I'm saying? If they truly care, they will come around and, you know, be willing to change. Triggers and symptoms. Let others know and also be aware that someone else is uncomfortable. Then other side then understand each other's sides. Signs? I think I meant signs, not sides. Or maybe sides. I don't fucking know. Shit. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, that's just the part of, you know, getting to know somebody, you know what I'm saying? And that's what I talk about, you know, just, you know, that should be what you want, you know what I'm saying? And it's the, you know, expressing those, you know, triggers and, you know, symptoms you have or this is that. And also knowing that that person may not be aware of those things. And, you know what I'm saying? You may have been, you know, vocalized or when you, you know, communicated and however you communicate, you know what I'm saying? It was, you know, for that situation. And now it's another one they didn't know. And it's like, you know, you gotta be able to, you know, be patient with them and within yourself and they gotta be patient with you and within themselves and, you know what I'm saying? Like I say, if you care and support, bro, you're willing to work together and you're willing to work through anything, like, you know, obviously to a certain extent, though, you know, healthy and this and that, but it's just like, I don't know. Uh -uh. You know, being able to see, oh, they're uncomfortable. Being able to express your uncomfortable life. 
like, I mean, I say, you know, all this shit is so, you know, simple. You know, I find it, you know, tough to believe sometimes that, you know, people are just so difficult and, you know, wanting to be so difficult and, you know, won't just listen to themselves and their body and, I don't know. I don't know, I don't, I don't, I don't know, I, I don't, you know, like, gotta be able to go there with yourself, you gotta be able to just be open and just fucking, you know, Give people a chance. Like, everybody's just so scared, but they're not scared at the same time because, you know, when it comes to somebody who makes them horny, they fucking just let it all out. You know what I'm saying? And then, oh, yeah, I got rejected because I was just going for, you know, the looks. And then I was just on a sexual shit instead of treating them like a person or, you know, I don't know, bro. Like in Shameless, Fiona did everything for them, and when what she when they, and when and when what she was doing stopped benefiting them, they treat her like shit and pay no mind to her, even though she's going through hell. Yes, they came around, apologized, and changed, but that's fuck, yo. <laughs> but that's fuck, yo. Yeah, that's fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I don't understand how uh, some niggas just so quick to forget. Be so quick to fucking forget how much you didn't fucking did for them. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, Fiona did everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, she, you know, didn't even get a chance to fucking you know, look herself in the mirror and figure out what she wanted, this is and that, because she had to, you know, take care of fucking all of them. Like, that shit is just... I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, a person with, you know, as less experience as she had, you know, shouldn't be doing that by herself, you know? I mean, the shit she had to deal with, the shit she had to figure out on her own and shit she had to, you know, take care of is and it's like for the for the people who you did all that for, for them not to be there for you when you just get one little slip up. You know what I'm saying? When they, you know, experience in a sense, you know what I'm saying, within such situation and won't even still won't even help. You know, it's like You know, and they have more than a choice in anything, and you really didn't. And it's, I don't know. It was just, it was, just, it was just so fucked up. It was just so fucked up. Uh, you know, and yeah, sure, we all got our own shit, and they was dealing with our own shit. But you know, when Fiona was fucking eight or nine, and fucking. Figuring her shit out, you know what I'm saying? Raising, you know what I'm saying? Y'all and she still had her own shit, you know what I'm saying? But she had to do this, this and that, you know what I'm saying? Y'all couldn't spare the shit that y'all caused on y'all selves to not help, you know? It's like, I don't know. You know, she just went through so much shit, and uh, you know, I just fucking related to her so much. It's within, you know, figuring shit out on her own and dealing with this shit by herself, and I don't know, bro. <sighs>
you know, it sucked to see her, you know, fall into the drinking and fall into the, you know, just the bad habits and, you know. Cause, you know, really rooted shit, you know, that's, that's what she know, you know. You got Frank passed out in the fucking yard. You know, you, I don't know. You know, but you saw when, when she chose her and understood it was time for the motherfucker. It was time. <laughs> oh, God. It was time for her to do for her. You know, she communicated that with everybody and she, you know, she finally moved away, you know what I'm saying? She finally left. She, you know, because it was time for her to do for her, you know, it's time for her to choose herself and really, you know what I'm saying, give herself a fresh start and, you know, give her that peace of mind and leave that shit behind. You know what I'm saying? And it was, I don't know. Uh, and she didn't do, you know, more than she could for them. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't no blood, bad blood type shit. You know what I'm saying? They already apologized and communicated and whatever. So it was all good within, you know, that situation. But it's like, she no longer had to be there for them, you know what I'm saying? That was just such a relief, you know, you could, she could finally be free of that and finally go do for her just once, you know? Then, you know, trying to support them always. And, you know. It was a good show. Good fucking show though. Yeah, it's just that oh. When shit is conveniencing others, then, oh, everything's okay. Then, oh, they fucking with you. Then this, this, and that. But as soon as they feel their inconvenience, they're not rocking with you. They can care less about you. And it's like, you know. I don't know, it's like, you know, that's fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Or it could be like, oh, you know what I'm saying? It could be on the flip, you know, kind of, oh, their inconvenience you know, with so-and-so or their convenience with this situation. So now they're not rocking with them, but now they're rocking with you and this is that. But once they're convenience again, you know what I'm saying, within themselves or this is and that, and you know what I'm saying, they convenience with so-and-so or whatever, and now they feel like they don't need you, then it's like, you know. But you were there to you know, help, you know, you thought you were, you know, really, you know, helping or doing this, this, and that, and maybe you actually did, and now they got better, but now that they're better, they feel they don't need you, or this, this, and that, but once they get inconvenienced again, they gonna come back to you, and it's like, you know, and some of those people will keep helping, 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 and it's like, that's fucked, you know?
I mean, it's crazy how, like, I'm looking all the way over there, even though it's, like, middle screen. Because obviously the camera is over there. But it's, like, I don't know. I'm so tired of this shit. Like, I really feel like I shouldn't have to go through this shit. And, like, obviously, like, I feel this real badly, and I know I don't have to go through this shit, and a whole bunch of people shouldn't have, been, shouldn't have to be going through the shit they're going through, and it's like. I don't know, it's like, they feel that way, but then they don't do anything in a certain extent. It's like, it's like, where do we go from there? What do we do? Like, why can't, like, how do you accept, like, oh, there's nothing I can do? And how do you accept that? Why do you truly believe that? Why do you convince yourself that you feel like there's nothing you can do? Because you don't realize the power you have, you don't realize the power is within you, you don't, you don't see it. Just tired of this shit. Fuck this shit, man. This shit, is, this shit is lame, this shit is whack, this shit is boring, oh my god, this shit is boring. This shit is so fucking boring. Imagine not being free in a fucking world that we created. Imagine that shit. I do you understand? <sighs> like, oh God, like, sometimes I do wish, like, it was some Hunger Games type shit. Like, bitch, I'm just trying to go to war. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Fuck it, let's fight. Obviously it gets down not on some Hunger Games kill each other for their entertainment. Nah, fuck that. We finna do what Katniss did. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm at the dome shooting that shit, nigga. I'm i I'm breaking I'm 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 cheating. I'm uh beating the system. You know what I'm saying? But obviously within that uh, she lost, you know. People died. Uh, you know, uh, she didn't lose, no I'm saying like she lost people, like you know and, Fucking, some people went through hell because of it. You know, Peter. Peter was weak, though. Listen, Peter was weak. He didn't. He didn't want it. That nigga was tripping. Ah, fuck out. Shit, divergent. Shit, I'm telling you. Like, <laughs> oh fuck. Like, divergent in this whole like. Fuck it, Maze Runner, like, let's go. Like, I'm telling, oh my gosh, I'm telling y'all. Like, why can't we just do it? Why can't we just go there? Why can't we just, like, why, why are we letting, why are we letting them, why are we letting them beat us down? Treat us like slaves, peasants, why, why, why? Oh my gosh, like, We we could get them too. I, oh my God, we could get them too. We could get they ass. We could get they ass too. But like I'm on some shit, you know. What I'm saying I'm just I'm just you know talking, but I'm on some shit. Like I'm not even worrying about they ass. Like I just want to move and do our own shit. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just talking like as far as like some film diversion, hunger game shit, like. I know we can get their ass. <laughs> I know we can get their ass. Fuck you talking about, nigga. You know how skilled all of us is? Do you know the potential we have? The power that's within? Oh, my God, bro. The shit we could come up with and create, bro. Please, man. First of all, we already outnumbered them. So even if we were some dumb niggas, we on some planet of the ape shit. We, we going in doing all type of shit. Listen. <laughs> we going in on some planet of the ape shit. My nigga seizure. Shit.
shit, they went in and did them niggas dirty. See, I be telling y'all niggas, if animals was on that shit, we would have been done. We would have been done. Ah, we would have been done if animals was on that shit, bro. They could fucking destroy all of us. They just on some real compassionate shit for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> the other animal niggas see, see but they probably like us it's probably niggas it's, it's some animal who be ready to go to war but it's like the majority they not doing that it's, you need the majority to change but you don't have to wait for the majority to change but it's you change and everybody I already talked about that so, yeah but they probably just like us you know what I'm saying? They probably telling they niggas, come on, bro, we can get their ass. And then they like, oh, yeah, yeah, but everybody else not on that shit. I'm telling, I'm te fucking telling y'all, bro. Fucking telling y'all. Fucking, fucking telling you. Fucking telling y'all. <laughs> we'll have to fucking type these subtitles and it's gonna be fucking blanks. I don't know how YouTube do that shit. Blink that shit up. But then, like, when I say damn, it fucking types it. See, because with the sub, like, I, I don't type all the subs. I, obviously, I'm not that fast of a typer. But, like, I go through them. Because, obviously, the words be wrong within a sense. So, I, like, change the words. And I, like, you know what I'm saying? Where it's blank with the cuss words. I put in the cuss words. And, you know... Because I just wanted to try to make it as accurate as possible. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, people take in shit differently and maybe they want to see subtitles. And, you know, for when I translate into the other languages, I wanted to try to be, you know, as close as possible and be what I'm saying, especially because, you know, they, they can't hear the English, you know, so. I mean, stuff. Evaluate work, change, grow. Evaluate work, change, grow. <laughs>